Today I will show you how to create light trails in Photoshop. So let's start. Hi guys, my name is Nemanja Sekulic and welcome to another fun episode. Today I will show you how to draw light trails in Photoshop from scratch. So let's jump straight into Photoshop and let's have fun. Alright guys, this is the first photo for today and as you can see we already have some light trails in it. But those light trails are made in a camera. And we will use this photo first to add even more light trails. And then we will jump to this one to draw light trails from scratch. So before we start let me quickly explain how the light trails are made in a camera. For that you will need long exposure photography, you need to set your shutter speed for seconds to 3 seconds exposure or even 10 seconds exposure depends on the situation and just wait for some car to pass by and you will capture the, those trails of light. Of course you don't need a car for that, you, you can use any kind of light source, for example flashlight, your mobile phone screen or flashlight on, on the back of the phone camera and uh, you can use a lighter or any kind of light source. And you don't need to make really straight light trails, you can create light trails in a manner of letters, you can write with the light and create some interesting shapes, etc, etc. Your creativity is the limit. So that's how you can photograph that, but if, you're, if you don't have opportunity to make a photo of light trails, you can draw that in Photoshop. So let's jump back to this image and let me show you how to do it. Alright guys, first what we need to do is to create a new layer and on this layer we'll draw first light trail and let me zoom this to analyze this white light trail because we will create another one in white color. Okay, basically this is a beam of light in a white color with some bluish glow around it. So we need to create something like that. Alright, we will use a white color. Okay, and we will use a brush and just make white stroke but as you can see this is not good because this stroke it's really soft this brush it's really soft and we want to replicate something like this one it's a little bit harder so let's make your brush harder maybe around 80 percent or so let me see that's much better and now let's unzoom it and click here on the start press and hold shift and click here at the end and you will create straight line of light and now we need to transform this a little bit because this part is a little bit wider and the end or the beginning, how you uh, think about that, it's a little bit more narrow, it's tiny. So press Control Command T and by holding Control Command key just move those anchor points up and down until you're satisfied with your uh, beam width and when you're finished with that you can use a middle anchor point to reposition that. And it's same here, just make it small like so and just reposition it somewhere here and when you're ready press finish press ok and that's it now we have basic light beam and we need to build some outer glow around that so to do that just double click on the layer and you will load this layer style dialog box and you just need to find the outer glow tab it's here just check it and let's move this a little bit down and zoom this we need to go to that tab and we need to choose the right color. We will choose this kind of blue color here and maybe a little bit more darker, something like something like so for a start. And you can use the blending mode, the linear dodge, or you can use a screen. I will use linear dodge because I like it a little bit better. And then with this slider size, you need to select the size of the beam of the that glow. All right, and you have the, the quality tab here and you have different types of curves. This is the basic one, you will see the linear curve uh, when you open this dialog box and it's just a linear spread of light. But I like maybe this one like stairs, I will show you better, this one, because it makes some imperfections of lights. As you can see, it's not linear, it has like like some stairs, okay? And I will use that and I will change color to even more to the blue, like so. And maybe play with these settings a little bit and press OK when 
I'm finished with that. If you're not satisfied with that, you can always go back, double tap uh, on your effect, go here and change maybe the color to something like this. And let me see, maybe less saturated or more saturated, depend on the style you want to achieve. And that's it, press OK, and that's it. All right, and this is another light trail, but as you can see here, we have some imperfection in that, and we can really easily create those things here. Just put the layer mask on your layer, on this light beam, and use a brush, use a really small one, and really soft one, something like so, or even smaller, right? That's nice, and maybe 10 or 20% opacity, I will use 10% opacity, and just press shift, click, like so, that's nice. Just click a few times, even smaller brush, like so, and make it bigger now, and maybe 3% opacity, just the, the 33, 0, 3 on the keyboard, it's 3%, just a touch, something like so, and that's, that's really, really nice. And now if we want, we can add the bluish tint at the top of that and we are done. So let's do that. All right, let's create a new layer, clip it to this one, just to affect this light trail and choose some blue color. Mm, maybe this is not so nice, this one. All right, and just use a soft brush, really soft one, like so, bigger one and maybe 10% opacity and just paint or even less, 5% opacity and just paint over this, like so. And we can add that bluish tint here, right? Or even more, if we unclip this, we can paint a little bit down here, but that's basically it. And now we have something really interesting. We can add even a layer mask and delete this part a little bit but that's it we have now two really nice looking light trails this is before the first one this is after the first one that's really really nice now we will create a red light trail but if we zoom here you will see that this red one has really a different uh, shape of that main light beam it's like it has uh, one, two, three, four main light beams. And that depends on the shape of a light source. So we will create something like that. But for that, we need to create a custom brush. So let's do that. Create a new document, Control Command N. I will use 500 by 500 pixels and just press OK. And now I will create a custom brush. I will use a black brush, harder one, something around 80% and 100% opacity, that's good. And I will create one, two, three, and four dots. And I will now transform this into a brush. Go to edit and define brush preset. I will name this four dots. Okay, and now we have that main light beam with the four different strokes. And now let's go to our main image to create that red trail of lights. Okay, let's create a new layer and this will be red. Right, let's group this just to have a little bit more organization here. This is white, white light trails. Okay, this is a red one and we will use that custom brush we created. It's like so and let's use a red color for that, maybe a little bit to the orange like so let me see that's nice and make it smaller and as you can see this is really really nice almost like the original okay and it's the same procedure go here tap it somewhere here and just press and hold shift and tap it somewhere here right then control command t make this part smaller like so and Put it somewhere here and this part we need don't need to make bigger because it's big enough and just press enter when you're finished with that great now double click on the layer to activate the layer style dialog box go to outer glow and just change the color to red 
like so beautiful and now we need to change the size of that and spread and let me see something like so it's great experiment just with that and maybe opacity to something like this or 75 maybe like so it's not bad okay and what we need to do now is to lower the fill if you lower the fill we will just just get rid of the main beam as you can see if i go with the fill to the zero i will get rid of main beam but but if i lower the opacity i will get rid of everything and i want just to lower the main beam opacity something something like so and that's basically it we can change of course the color of this light beam if we don't like it just create a new adjustment layer hue and saturation clip it to this one and just maybe make it more orange like so less saturated maybe and make it brighter or darker depends on your preference and that's it as you can see we just created two different light beams white and red this is before and this is after it's really really nice and easy result so let's jump to another image and let me show you how to create a light trails from scratch all right guys this is the image so let's create some light trails from scratch let me just illustrate how this will look like it will be something like so few of those red light trails and of course you can draw this by hand but I will use a pen tool to create those light trail shapes even more precise. If you're not familiar with the pen tool, if you don't know how to use a pen tool, I have a really great tutorial about that. You can find the link here. All right, let's get back to this image and let's delete this layer because we don't need it anymore. And let's create a new one. Press P on a keyboard for a pen tool and just go here and create the first pen pad. Something like so something like so maybe okay and unzoom it and create here another one press escape when you're done with the first pad and then create a second pad it will go like here and like here and press escape when you're done with that too so now we need to set a brush size for it Press B on the keyboard and we can use this brush or we can use just an ordinary brush or you can create any kind of brush for for uh, these light trails. Try experiment with the different brush shapes, you will have really nice results. I will use this brush that we already created, just make it a lot smaller, maybe even smaller like so and let me see, yeah that's not bad and just press P on a keyboard right click stroke pad and uncheck if you have checked simulate pressure uncheck this and press ok and here we have our first first light trails but i think they are too small and uh, we can undo that and make a brush size bigger but i will leave it like this for now go to the pad here tab and just delete this work pad because we don't need that anymore right and now just double click on this layer go here outer glow and the same like on the previous example and let me see the size for this i don't know if i'll use this or linear let me see just how it looks like it's nice and if i press ok yeah it's not bad it's not bad at all maybe to tweak it a little bit more Mm, something like so maybe and now let me see if we right click on this uh, layer effects and go to create layer out of that we will create layer out of this layer style layer effect and if we uncheck the this uh, main beam we will have just this layer style effect and that's nice let's turn this on and let's duplicate just this layer style bring it a little bit more down like so maybe something like so okay and put layer mask on it and delete yeah i need a normal brush like so and delete this part you don't need to delete it if you want to to leave it but i will just delete it to have some 
different effect, lower the opacity of the upper one like so and control command J to duplicate that too and just just play with with this uh, this light beam light trail and have fun with that. We can make it smaller or bigger, put it here maybe and let me see put it like so yeah like so press ok and again we can delete maybe this part oops on the mask maybe a uh, soft brush and 40% opacity and just play with that just create something that you like we can again duplicate the first one where is the first one the original one it's here duplicate that put it again down below something like so and then maybe put it here right click warp it a little bit make it wider here why not right just some imperfections here bad sound i don't like it all right maybe something like so let me see press ok and not bad at all we can add a layer mask and maybe 40 percent opacity it's cool and just delete this a little bit and again duplicate the original one and make it a little bit bigger like so and this side a little bit bigger put it here right and this side smaller and just put it somewhere here like so and when you're satisfied with that let's move this a little bit more here okay let me see that's really really nice and now we can add maybe a new layer here and use a brush normal brush harder like so and smaller right 100% opacity of that brush and let me see undo this right make it even smaller even smaller like so and just click here hold shift and just click here and lower the opacity of that create a new layer even smaller brush and maybe here like so press and hold shift and click here and that's nice now we can group this and name this light trails like so before and after and you can of course add as many of those light trails uh, as you want to create even better effect but now i will finish with that and now i will add another effect when the car goes by and create those light uh, light trails you will have uh, those light uh, light trails will affect actually the concrete the, the asphalt down below uh, and it will be brighter and reddish and we need to make that too just create a curves adjustment layer to our uh, just below the light trails and about our background and make it brighter and go to the red channel here not green the red channel and just make it more reddish like so press ctrl command i on this mask to invert the mask press b for a brush and with the white brush and maybe yeah 100 percent opacity for now just and yeah it need to be soft brush just go and paint here something like so all right and now we will use black brush 50 percent opacity and just delete some parts maybe 30 percent opacity and delete something like so just to have a little bit better effect smaller brush something like so okay and that's that's really really nice maybe to add some lights here and that's the effect from the light trails of course you can always make it brighter or darker depends of your preference but or make it less or more red like so let me see 
That's really, really nice. All right. And that's basically it. Let me show you before and after before and after we created really nice looking light trails. All right, guys, that's it for today. I hope that you like this tutorial and that you learned something new out of it. Of course, you can create even better looking light trails than I did it today if you spend even more time creating them. If you create even more custom brushes, some interesting custom shape brushes that you will use to create those light trails. If you maybe create uh, every light trail with the different brushes because every car has a different light source shape and it will create different trail. And if you spend even more time, you will have really, really nice result. Of course, the best way is to take photo of light trails, but if you don't have that opportunity or you want to add even more light trails in the existing photo, this is a great way how to do that. If you have any questions regarding to this episode, please leave them in the comments below. I will be glad to answer them. See you next week in the next fun episode. Bye-bye.